All right, SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and today I want to talk to you about a geodesic dome connector. So if you're not familiar with geodesic domes and what they are, um, here I have kind of a production model of one behind me that I'll go into a little bit more detail on in here in a moment. But uh, really what I want to talk to you about is these connectors. Now, a gentleman from Romania named Bogdan uh, contacted me, and he said, hey man, I've got these connectors that I've invented. I want you to check them out and see what you think of them if you like them build something cool and share it with your uh, with your audience so uh, I've, I've tested out my first project and i'm definitely going to be using these more I've, i'm going to order another a couple sets of these actually and uh, build me a, a couple more geodesic domes small and large for other different uh, ideas and projects here um, but the real thing if, if you're familiar with geodesic domes or if you're looking into it one of the biggest reasons people don't build them is because they they can get complicated, right? I mean, you've got all this, uh, you know, different lengths of, of struts and you've got all these different angles that you need to cut and everything needs to fit together in, in each one of these nodes just right. And uh, it can be very kind of overwhelming. But with these simple connectors, and it's always the simple ideas that are the best, these simple connectors I, can, I built this in about two hours of total time, and that includes cutting each one of these struts out. There are about 130 or 125 struts, I think, that I had to cut, uh, and then connecting everything and putting it all together. It's extremely simple. Um, he even gives instructions on how to build a very simple 2L or two different length uh, node, and I'll talk about that in another video, but uh, a, a very simple type of geodesic dome using these connectors, and I, I gotta say, it's fun. It's like, uh, it's like building a, with giant erector set or something. Um, these geodesic domes can be used for, for anything, the little greenhouses, cold frames, you know, covering uh, uh, garden items and if you get a frost, um, little forts and playhouses for kids, um, sheds, green, you know, full size, full scale greenhouses, chicken coops, chicken runs, chicken tractors, uh, all kinds of different things. And with these simple connectors, anybody can build them. These are super cheap and uh, just super easy to use. You don't need to even understand how a geodesic dome works with all the angles and stuff like that with using these connectors. So let me take you in close and show you what these are and how they work. So in a, in a basic geodesic dome, you've got these kind of pentagonal pyramids that all come together. There's six struts that come together in the middle and uh, this is where the connectors come into play. So there's lots of different things out there in the market. You can buy all these connectors. You can make these PVC connectors or buy these kits uh, made out of PVC and or you can obviously take all your struts and uh, angle them and cut them at specific angles, but you have to remember you've got this angle coming up, plus you've got all the different angles of each strut. And so the angles can get kind of tricky unless you have a guide that somebody's already made for you. Um, it, it can get very complicated, there's a lot of cuts. The, the brilliance of these little connectors is that you don't need to do any of that. You can use any kind of strut that you want um, and in fact, on his Kickstarter campaign, he has more information to that. I'll put a link in the description. Please go check it out. And that's where you can actually order these right now. Um, I know I'm going to be getting a couple more sets of them. So, uh, But uh, basically, you just take your struts, any kind of strut you want. You can use dowels, you can use rods, you can use sticks, you can use... I'm just using some old deck boards that uh, somebody threw away on the side of the road. And uh, that's all I'm using for my struts. I cut them into one-by-one -one material and then I'm using these connectors. The connectors are extremely strong. This plastic is not gonna break. In fact, your struts or your screws or something else will probably break before these connectors. But the beauty of the geodesic dome is that it relies on all these small connections for its overall strength. So you're never, all your weight um, or your structure is never just relying on one connection. Uh, these bend and flex in the middle so that you can get it into your position. And all I'm using here is just some one inch stainless steel screws. Uh, they have kind of a flat surface on them that helps to grab these connectors. And then I pre-drilled holes in my struts and then these just get screwed in. Each strut gets two, uh, you know, two ends of a connector. They overlap to connect to the next one and around in a circle. And I'm actually going to do a separate video on how to build a geodesic dome in more detail. Uh, I just wanted to kind of talk mainly about these connectors. But what a, what a great simple little uh, little idea so this is the uh, the little prototype dome that i built here and uh, man these things are just so cool it was so fun to put this thing together it's like you know building with a little erector set or something but uh, this is the this is what you can build with these and uh, obviously you can build them a lot larger or a lot smaller but you can see all the connections here very very easy 
uh, you know, there's just nothing to it putting these things together. It basically consists of a bunch of these, like I said, it's kind of like a pentagon here on the side that just comes to the center. Um, you start with one on the top and then uh, you've got several around the sides that are connected by other struts. So um, I will do, uh, I will go into all of the details on how to build this with all of the measurements and lengths and all that stuff. It's extremely easy. There's a formula that you use to just calculate exactly what your measurements are gonna be. And uh, it, it's very easy to cut everything down to size and then put it out. All right, so thanks for checking this out. Just kind of a preview and a highlight of these uh, these cool little new connectors that uh, invented over there in Romania. And uh, please, you guys, check on that link. I'm going to put a comment down below as well as a link in the description over to all of his information. Um, you know, he sent me a free. These were at no charge. He sent these to me to share with you guys. And uh, I only share stuff that I think is cool. And this is this is definitely one of those things. So um, please check it out. Uh, click on that link, and I think. You you can order these from his uh, his site there, his Kickstarter campaign, and he'll send you a set of these to try out as well. Um, but man, what a what a cool, simple, uh, actually just genius little connector. So I'd uh, advise you guys to grab some. But uh, stay tuned for that video on how to build this uh, dome. And uh, man, you can do so much with these things. I just uh, I haven't even thought of all the things I could use use these little domes for. I have a feeling my kids are going to want to play in one of them though. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.